Straight line depreciation. Now, straight line depreciation means that an item decreases by the same amount each time period. So for example, let's say we have a fridge and we buy it new for $1,400 or $1,400. And this fridge is going to decrease in value over time. Let's say it decreases by $140 each year. So, one year later, what will this fridge be worth? Well, we'll take the original price, $1,400, and it decreases by $140 each time. $1,400 minus $140 is $1,260. So if you wanted to sell it one year later, you should get around that much. All right, what about two years later? What's it going to be worth then? Well, $1,260 minus another $140 which comes to $1,120. So if I, let's um, fix it up a bit. Um, if I want to sell it in the second year, I would only get about $1,120. And each year it's just going to go down and down until about 10 years have passed. It will be worth nothing. All right. Now, let's talk a bit about terminology. We have our formula S equals VO minus DN. And this basically means S equals VO minus D times N, remembering that two pronumerals next to each other means multiplication. Now, S stands for the salvage value, what the item is worth at the current time. For instance, after two years for our fridge, S equals $1,120. It's, it's the value of the fridge after a certain time period. All right, VO represents the purchase price of the item. So the VO for the fridge is $1,400. That's what we bought it when it was new. There is a reason we write V with an O. It basically means the value of the item after zero years. So it's V0, sorry. And after zero years, it's worth $1,400 because no time has passed. D is the depreciation amount, which for the fridge was $140. It was the amount it depreciates by each year. And N is the number of time periods. So whether that's one year, two years, or 10 years, that's what the time period represents.